Okay, hi everybody. I was browsing Amazon a few months ago um, for the new Duplo sets that were supposed to come out for my daughter when I came across these. And there were a lot of these not Duplos that had uh, funny names, like this one says Princess, and this one says Little Treasures Funny Pasture. Um, and both of these, to me, are obvious knockoffs. This one, I mean, reminds me of a certain mermaid-related film, and this one reminds me of a, well, a certain film that involved some toys. And I thought, uh, I thought it would be funny to buy these and, uh, see if they actually worked with my regular Duplos, or if they were at all similar to my regular Duplos, because here you see there's a sheep. And on Amazon they say they're Duplo compatible, um, which I would hope because this packaging is literally the same packaging as the Ariel set um, with Prince Eric, except where Lego would be it says Princess. Um, so I don't know if this is even legal to manufacture these like this. Um, the company is... That's in Russian, so I can't read it. Um, they say made in China. And they say specifications, colors, and contents may vary from illustration. So there you go! <laughs> and I can't find anything more about what this is or where it comes from or why it exists, except they again have the exact same uh, Lego, or I'm sorry, Duplo sets, but uh, with their little princess thing in the corner, so I have no idea what to expect here. But uh, this wasn't cheap. <laughs> this was like $20. So let's try it. I'll open that one next, but first let's start with the little princess. You need uh, scissors? I have scissors, but this is just tape here, so if I need the scissors, I'll get it. But this tape is really crappy. <laughs> like it's. Where's the rest of the tape? There. Maybe there I can use scissors. Oh no, I don't need to. Because it's really shitty tape. Okay. Oh, it smells weird. <laughs> Normally, as a blind person, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I like the smell of the inside of cardboard boxes, but that smells awful. Thanks. And normally when you buy Legos, they come in many different packages, but this one just seems to be one big, lumpy package. And it's dirty. It's really dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And it's also... It's also made of nothing. So. Ah, uh, yeah. These do not feel like Duplos at all. They look vaguely Duplo-like, but they feel like nothing. Yeah. Look at how easily I can move her head around. Compared to her... Nothing happens. And when you put them next to each other, yeah. Like, her hair is sort of tough and hard, and hers just feels like. There. I broke it. Very easily. <laughs> But the rest of these pieces, this is one of their bricks, and this is a regular Lego brick. And for me, just from feeling them, they feel different. Um, ow! Yep, and they don't...
you go. Do they even connect with each other is the real question. Okay, they connect with each other, kind of. There's like a little bit of a gap. It doesn't feel very secure, but they did a really bad job and that doesn't look like Sebastian the Crab to me. Look at that. That's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> so here's a boat. Let's see. Oh, well, my sheep can stay in the boat. So that's cool. And how about Snow White? How does she feel about the boat? dress gets in the way here. Nope, that's not gonna happen. No. What about this? Nope. And nope. And what about this cat? I don't know why the sheep fits in the boat, but he does, but none of this. None of that. No. Yeah, cosmetically on the outside, they look quite a bit like Duplos, but they, let me tell you, are not. And they are absolutely, under no circumstances, compatible with each other. Because this, this barely fits, and this, this, I mean, yeah, I guess if you're just going to do that, it works. But, like, it just, nope, not at all. And this is funny because I, I actually have a couple of these minaret thingies or tower thingies in, in actual Duplo form. And uh, it looks exactly the same. Like I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. I have to feel it. Because when you feel them, I can tell you these are much lighter. The plastic feels flimsier. They smell bad. It's, uh, yeah, these are, these are awful. Oh, but she supposedly had a little skirt. Well, why not? They smell moldy. Yeah, they smell awful. I'm probably gonna get like lung cancer now from breathing this. But well, now the headless princess has a has a dress. Let's try the uh, funny pasture now. It's always a good sign when the box comes like this. of this extra layer of cardboard. Like, so these don't rattle around too much so we don't break them? Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for the consideration, weird Russian or Chinese or whatever you are, company. Oh yeah, creative education, it says there. Yeah, very creative, so creative they stole it from someone else. Here's the funny pasture, and this is a... Uh... <laughs> what? I have to put the chicken together? <laughs> How? a piece? <laughs> There's my chicken. And here's my farmer from The Exorcist. And like, his arms just These bananas are cute. Um, they fit with. Oh, well, this is nice. The bananas work. 
So if you were looking for some decorative Duplo bananas that have no actual function and for some reason would come in a farm set, maybe it's a banana farm, uh, these are okay. But this cow feels like nothing. It's hollow. It actually... I can hear it vibrating when I hit it. This is the cheapest plastic ever, I think. And so here's a dog. And here's an actual Duplo dog. Very similar, but not similar enough, because this one's tail is pliable, and this one's tail isn't. And uh, this one is an actual Duplo, and this is something awful. Oops, I don't want to... So here's a lamb comparison. Now this is where it really is really obvious. This is nothing. And as you can even like the drop test, I guess is the best here. Fake Lego, real Lego. This is sturdy and thick and heavy. And this that can do that. The real test is, are these compatible with each other? Well, at least the fake Duplos go together well. But if I try to put a real Duplo on top of it... So there you have it. I have no intention of giving this to my daughter at all. These are made really poorly. They smell awful. Uh, they don't work with my regular Duplos. As you saw before, I was able to literally just rip her head off. Uh, yeah. The regular Duplo Lego things can sometimes be a little bit expensive if you want like a Disney set or something, but go for it. Just, just, just buy it, because <laughs> this is this is kind of embarrassing. Um, and if you're one of the manufacturers of these products, your products suck and are not Duplo compatible whatsoever. And I hope you get sued. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>